What's up, YouTube? I'm Brett from Rancher Us. As always, guys, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave that comment down below. All right, so this is our first look at Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Of course, you know it's adaption based off of Borderlands, of which she stars, or at least is a minimal character, but a fan favorite character. Um, many of y'all might not know this, but Lance and I here on Rancher Us uh, are huge, huge Borderlands fan. Uh, basically any news that comes out about the movies you know, or about the upcoming movie uh, you know we are uh, you know we're highly anticipating it even though we don't know if we get, agree with the casting uh, of many of our favorite characters um, but you know what we do we talk all the time about um, about Borderlands 4 and you know what we might not get it anytime soon but I'll tell you this at least we're going to get this, and I'm really, really looking forward to this. So let's. So without further ado, let's uh, let's check this out. I'm kind of anxious. Fate. It soars on the wind. Rises from the grave. It stalks the ocean floor. You cannot hide from fate. But you can make your own. What's that, Jim? So we won't have to wait very long for this game. I think it's supposed to be coming out in 2022, uh, which to me seems like a very, very long time, to be honest with you. But, I mean, overall, I was kind of expecting a little Alice in Wonderland kind of feel to it, like a really crazed version of it, it having Tiny Teen in it. But um, instead, we kind of got a lot of Lord of the Rings kind of way vibes about it. Uh, it still has the same Borderlands look to it, which I'm really grateful for in that way. Uh, we're going to have some like amazing, amazing features with this. Uh, this will definitely hold me over until they get Borderlands 4. Uh, Tiny Tina, look. Tiny Tina is one of my favorite characters off of, of the Borderlands uh, series. Um, is there others that maybe I would rather, um, you know, they maybe give a spinoff with? I'm like, yeah. But you know what? I'll take what I can get with it. Anything with Tiny Tina is going to just be off the wall uh, crazy. Uh, so this is this looks really good. I enjoyed the trailer. The monsters look really amazing. The guns look amazing. Uh, I just wish we would have saw a little bit more of Tiny Tina uh, in this uh, in this trailer. But hey, you know what? They're saving the best for last apparently. But as far as you know. Ariane Greenblatt, I think she's supposed to be the one that's supposed to be playing um, Tiny Tina in the upcoming Borderlands movie um, by Eli Roth. I think he's supposed to be the one that's directing it. Um, wasn't exact, you know, again, I can, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That movie, uh, I think it'll be good. I hope that they stay uh, a little bit, at least don't vary too much. Uh, off of the Borderlands uh, uh, video games. Of course, we're, I don't think we're going to be getting a Handsome Jack. And that kind of sucks. Not a big fan necessarily of Kate Blanchett as Lilith or uh, Kevin Hart as Roland. But uh, you know what? When it comes to that film, I almost kind of feel like 
I'm wanting it just simply because it's Borderlands, not because I think it'll be really that great. Uh, but, but like I said, doesn't matter Borderlands film whether it's good or bad. At least we're always going to have great games with it. Uh, I thought Borderlands Three especially was by far my favorite out of them. Um, I mean, it's just got replayability factor like crazy. Uh, I, in fact, I just actually got done playing it just a few minutes ago. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I thought the trailer looked great. Um, I kind of enjoyed the Lord of the Rings vibes to it. I'm not quite sure exactly where they're going with that. Uh, but hey, you know what? It looks unique. It looks different. But then it kind of feels like Borderlands to a certain extent. You know you're going to be seeing some crazy stuff uh, happen in this. Uh, hopefully we'll get a lot of cameos from a lot of our favorite Borderlands characters. That's what I'm hoping for. I mean, they've got to have, uh, uh, you know, our favorite characters. And, that. and it would, I mean, why wouldn't they? They've done it in all the other Borderlands games. So why not do it off of this, uh, this spinoff? Uh, game as well but overall guys let me know what y'all think I'm really to be honest with you I'm more excited now about Tiny Tina Wonderlands than what I was uh, before I saw this trailer uh, I thought this trailer encapsulated pretty much everything that you would kind of want in a Tiny Tina or in a uh, Borderlands-esque uh, kind of a, a video game um, it was a little unexpected that Tiny Tina didn't uh, have more of a role in it. Uh, but, you know, we got to see, what was that, Butt Pony or something like that? Like, that was actually kind of awesome in that way. Uh, but overall, guys, let me know what y'all think down below. I think it looks amazing. I can't wait for it to come out. I think uh, 2022. Feels like forever when you're waiting. But overall, guys, let me know what y'all think. And as always, thanks for watching. Y'all take care.